the evening news on television keeps reminding us. We live in a violent world. After sundown, most of us try to keep off the streets and stay out of public parks. We feel safe in our homes behind locked doors. The last place we would feel threatened is our neighborhood coffee shop. The film you are about to see depicts what happened in one of these coffee shops. Hi, Jake. My car's ready, I assume. The mechanic is Harry. You'll find him in the back. Okay. Thanks, Jake. You, Harry? No, he's over there. My car. My car. Jake! Where's the motor? Jake, there's no motor in this car. My car! For God's sake, Harry! You lit the gray who's gonna be here at 4 o'clock? What's the matter with you? I can't. You can't what? I can't put it together. Well, why not? I forgot. You've taken apart and put together a hundred cars like this. Now, how could you forget? Nothing fits. Nothing fits. I'm going to sue you, Jake. Look, Mr. Grady, what if I'm on the No, car? no way. You're all here for my attorney. No way. No. Nothing fits. Ben? Jake? Come get your brother. Something's wrong. Real wrong. Yeah. Right now. All right, Harry. Out with it. You been drinking? Smoking something? Taking pills? Nothing like that. I just can't make things fit anymore. What how do you mean they don't fit? All them parts are made to fit. Anything comes apart, fits together again. You don't understand, Ben. You just don't understand. Make me understand. Go ahead. Make me understand. Me. I don't fit. If I don't fit, how can I make anything else fit? Get him out of here. He's fired. Don't hate me, Ben. Let's go home. It's Sunday's Mother's Day. Let's go to the cemetery and put some flowers on her grave. I'd like that. Oh, I forgot. I promised Annie I'd take her and her mother to Disneyland on Sunday. Look, we'll do it some other time. I gotta run, Harry. Got an appointment.
No! No! Can you give me any reason, Mrs. Curtis, why your husband would appear totally naked in church? He's not my husband. We're divorced. I have no idea why Harry would do anything so crazy. Is he crazy, Doctor? We don't use that term in the medical profession. Sounds crazy to me. You don't seem to care much about his welfare. He can drop dead for all I care. Was he cruel to you? Did he beat you? None of that. Harry is a loser. I gave him the best six years of my life. Like I said, he's a born loser. I don't want anything to do with him. We can't just turn him loose in the streets. He should have a place to go and someone to be with for a while. Well, don't look at me. You can go now, Mrs. Curtis. He isn't dangerous, is he? That'll be all, Mrs. Curtis. You're in the psychiatric ward of the county hospital. You are locked up and you cannot leave until you're certified of being capable of taking care of yourself. After my initial examination, I filed a report. I said you were dangerous. A walking time bomb. I don't feel dangerous. You don't feel anything. That's sick. Maybe you're the one that's sick. I'm hanging around with too many loonies. You refuse to communicate. You behave as though you're all alone in this world. You've got it all wrong, Doc. I don't follow little girls into the park. I'm not about to mug some old lady. The only thing I use a knife for is to cut bread. I don't hate anyone. If you were 80, Harry, I could buy that. But you're 30. You're strong, full of energy. Try plugging up a spout of a tea kettle under a big flame. It blows up. It gets too hot. We get out of the kitchen. The whole world's one big kitchen. There's nowhere to hide. So where do I run? You don't. You adapt. It's the only way to survive. Adapt. Or get a job. Eat three meals a day, get plenty of exercise, and take my vitamin C. Don't smart-ass me. Well, then stop bugging me! My brother Ben will vouch for me. He's a... he's an accountant. He's a big deal CPA. I've spoken to your brother. He's left the decision to me. So test me. Besides, I thought I passed all your tests. You did. So why am I still here? I have a gut feeling you're not ready. Maybe it's something you ate. Saying all the wrong things. Unfortunately, Harry, we're overcrowded in this facility. And I have no legal right to detain you any further. I'm going to do this against my better judgment. I'm going to release you on probation. But you'll have to report to me twice a week for the next three months. Thanks, Doc. has been closed for a few years. I keep the books for the owner so you can stay here as long as you want. Suite. It's up on the top floor. Put a telephone in that suite also. 
Call me if you need me, all right? This is the front door key. Keep the doors locked. I gotta get back to my office. Harry, I'll stop by your apartment. I'll pick up your things and bring them over later tonight. Come on, I'll show you where the kitchen is. church naked. Well, you know, I heard the church bells. They woke me up, and it was Sunday morning, so I figured I might as well go to church. Yeah, but why didn't you wear any clothes? I thought I was dressed. I mean, it's never happened to me before. It could happen to anybody, Ben. It only happened to you. I have to get back to my office. Smart thing calling the police and not trying to apprehend them yourself. You're a good citizen, Mr. Curtis. You're a dead man. Tell me who you are.
do with that wrench? <coughs> some strange noises outside. There, there was somebody pounding on my door. You've been drinking, Harry? Oh, I don't drink. The hotel's empty. Nobody was pounding on your door. Maybe I dreamt it. You scared the hell out of me. Look, you got a free place to flop. Just play it cool. Let's not blow it. Okay. I'll be a little quiet. Good. I'll call you in a day or two, huh?
Right away, please. You're new here, aren't you? How long have you been working here? I started here. The first night this hotel opened over 40 years ago. Been here all my life. Only job I ever had. One job your whole life? Lucky, I guess. What about 1327? She ordered coffee. We don't rent that room anymore. Years ago, someone rented 1327 and jumped out the window. Three months later, there was a repeat. Since then, 1327 has been locked up. There's no one there. Now, what is it? How did you get in? The hotel is closed. I'm registered at the desk. What's wrong with you? That must be my husband. Hello? Mrs. Wilton? Yes. It was an accident. Yes. All four were killed, including your husband and your daughter. My daughter? ago. Put the robe. I tried to stop her. She jumped. 28 years ago. What the hell are you talking about? There's nobody in that hotel but you. Bellboy? What bellboy? There ain't no bellboy and nobody's ordering room service. Hotel's empty, I tell you. You hear me? Empty. Just pull yourself together and stop talking like a nut. Well, where are you? In bed? Get out of bed and take a hot bath. No, 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 I, I can't come over today. I've just got too many appointments. Look, 
Get out of bed, take a hot bath, and get some rest. <laughs> down to the station to sign the report. I'll get down there as soon as I can. Could you leave us alone? Thanks again for your help. What were you doing on that ledge? I wasn't trying to jump. You were naked the same way you went to church that day. Damn it, can't you keep your clothes on? I told you. I was in the bathtub when it happened. I don't want to hear what happened. I want you to keep your clothes on, and I want you to stay inside the hotel. Okay. Jeez. Why does all this have to happen to me? the police. Go ahead. What is it you want? You invited me. I did no such thing. So I invited myself. Stop looking at me like I'm an animal. All right. You want to talk? Talk. I didn't come here to talk.
like this. Like what, Harry? Last Thursday. What about last Thursday? You don't remember? I don't know what you're talking about. I came to your house. You must have dreamt it. I didn't dream it. Why are you denying it? You actually believe you came to my house? And you believe you spent the night with me? Harry, listen to me carefully. You never came to my house. We never spent the night together. It never was. I wouldn't lie to you. The worst thing I could do is to make you believe something didn't happen if it did. Please believe me. You nod, but you still don't believe me. FBI, may we come in? We've got a report that uh, someone up on the top floor has been aiming a rifle at a passing plane. The hotel's closed. I'm the only one here. Well, where do you stay? Upstairs. Do you own a rifle? No. Can we see your room? Did you aim this broomstick at the plane? There's no law against playing with a broomstick, but it's a bad idea. I wouldn't do it again if I were you. Should we write him up? I think we look silly in a report. Let's just drop it.
run now, is there? Where do you think a teddy bear's gonna help you, huh? What? We got you now. Guy's nuts. He played Russian roulette on us. He had no right to be there. But the guy's a weirdo. It ain't safe to walk the streets with this guy loose. Pigs give us a bad time. And faggot! You ruined my best pair of jeans! Yeah, well, you still stink. Go take a shower. Don't get him. He's a dead man. Drink? Oh, no thanks. Don't you 
find that's a little odd for you to come here at this hour? No, I don't pay any attention to time. You mind if I just sort of stay here until morning? No, you can sleep on the couch. I'll get you a pillow and blanket. dinner tonight. How about you? Hell, I could always eat. What do you got in the fridge? Let's see what we have in here. I'll tell you what, I'll put the coffee on. You know something, Harry? Hmm? I've never been to a dance. You know, my wife and I used to be uh, pretty fair dancers. Tell you what, I'll take you dancing. You see, there's hope for both of us. That's for good luck, Harry. Here's one for me. You are one hell of a sweet duck. almost got canned. You cost us our best account. We lost a whole fleet of trucks because of you. Hell, Jake, you know I'm the best mechanic in this garage. Well, you were. I gotta go back to work. Jake, I'm begging you. Look, I don't own this joint. I'm only the manager. How am I gonna explain it to the boss? Don't tell him until I make good. No. I just can't take that chance. Jake. Jake, take me back. Something bad is gonna happen. Now, what are you gonna do? Burn this joint down? My... Give me a break. I hate to see a man beg. Look, it's, it's pretty slow in the repair department. But, uh, well, you used to be pretty good in the paint shop. I'll do anything you say. I swear I will. Hey, Fred, set Harry up in the paint shop. Okay, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Hey, Fred, is Harry finished with that blue paint job? Sure did, Jake. Should be finished for now.
wanted something, Mr. Curtis. I'm desperate, Sidney. Well, what seems to be the problem? I've met a girl. And for the first time in my life, I've got a chance. But I have to show her that I can make good. I presume you're speaking of money, Mr. Curtis. That's it, Sidney. I need a big chunk of dough. I don't have any. I know that, but you've been around a long time. You, you must have had lots of opportunities. Just give me a tip and I'll take care of the rest. I have seen opportunities to get rich quick, but they're always dangerous. I'm willing to stake my life. Do you recall my telling you about the two suicides from room 1327? I saw the lady, Joe. The other was a man, a jewelry salesman from New York. His name was Walter Burns. He came once a year carrying a suitcase full of uncut diamonds. He always rented the same suite, 1327. He stayed for a week and sold from the room, never left the hotel. His last trip here, I met him in the lobby. I was the only one permitted to carry a suitcase. And that very night, he jumped to his death. The full suitcase of uncut diamonds has never been found. Maybe someone stole it. No. I carried it to his room, laid it on his bed, he tipped me, I left, and he bolted the door from the inside. We had no visitors that evening. How can you be sure? He always hired the house detective, did Lou Kramer, to come sit in the corridor all night next to his door. Lou said that Mr. Burns was in his room alone till he jumped. And the diamonds are still in the hotel. They most certainly are. Well, how come you never found them? Well, I've looked. Everybody searched, but no one ever found where Mr. Burns hid them. What good is that going to do me? You ask if I knew an opportunity to get rich quick. We could look for them together. I'll split it with you, Sidney. I've lost my taste for money, Mr. Curtis. But I'll give you a lead. Anything. Please. I, I need something. Mr. Burns still walks around this hotel. You said he committed suicide. Well, for a few of us, we can still make contact. And you're one of the few, Harry. Why don't you find Mr. Burns? Talk to him. He's kept the secret these many years. Maybe he'll confide in you. Oh, how can I find this, Mr. Burns? I've never seen him around here. I'd go to his room. 1327. I've had some bad experiences in 1327. You said you were desperate. I warn you, it's a risky business.
where do I find this Kramer? Have you noticed strange footsteps in the corridor? Coffee pots. Still brewing. In the kitchen. Lights left on. Cigar butts. Still smoking. That's Kramer. Every night, he stands out in the street and watches your room till the lights go out. And then, then he sneaks into my room and searches. That suitcase, Harry. Kill him. for a lost article. A suitcase. Maybe. You never give up, do you? I know it's still here somewhere. That suitcase belongs to Walter Burns. He's dead. It belongs to anyone who finds it. He promised it to me. That man's promises are no good. You remember how he died? Yeah, I remember. You should. You murdered him. Where'd you hear that? It's not true. Hey, mister, that was so long ago. That's ancient history. You didn't answer my question. He jumped! You can read it in the police report. You thought on that police report. Just what the hell do you want? The suitcase was never found. It belongs to me. Hey! If you're looking for a split, forget it. It's all mine! What'd you do that for? I'm gonna murder you. You're crazy, man. Move. There's a pool 13 stories down. If you're lucky, you'll just break your neck. Hey, you can keep the suitcase. The diamonds are all yours. Just let me get the hell out of here. I promise, I'll never come back. I give you my word of honor. You claim his word of honor. Let's you and me take a walk. 
you know something bad is gonna happen. You just don't know when. So sweat a little. Just like you made us sweat at the hotel. I could have wasted you right in the street, but I didn't. Because it's more fun bringing you here. What were you looking at in the window? A machine gun? I'd like to have it with me. Well, how you holding? Show me your green. Best persuader in the world. Forget it. Guns are no good. If you get caught with a gun, you wind up in the slammer for a long stretch. Even knives are bad. Even knives are bad. But with this baby right here, the pigs pick you up. You throw it in the gutter. DA's got no case. You run armed. The citizen complains you mugged him. You claim he's a fag. And he tried to proposition you. You had to rough him up a little. The judge sends you walking with the warning. Forget guns. They're no good. You still want that gun in the window? I'm gonna get it for you. You know why? Yes. You can't figure it out, so I'll spell it. There's a lot of fat citizens in this town who think they got it made with their gold chains and their Mercedes and their credit cards. I hate the bastards. Problems they throw you. 335 an hour, minimum wage. Shit, man, I eat steak every night. It cost me 15 bucks. My body needs the protein. I'd starve to death at 335 an hour. So get a job, get an education, learn a skill so they can pay you four bucks an hour. I mugged a man the other day for $1,500. Took me two minutes. That's earning power. And this is the best persuader in the world. You point a gun, and some of them don't believe it's loaded. Use a knife, they want to fight. One smash in the mouth with this, and they got a 4000 bucks dentist bill. Are you reading me, man? I'm trying to educate you. What the hell are you going to do with a machine gun? News. I sure can't take care of you. You have free rent here. My lease is up. I'll stay here till we find another place. Don't open that. Why not? Don't! I decided we'll make a fresh start, Harry. I'll go back with you. You want to go back to the nut house? You can't take me back. Oh, no? You're out on probation in your brother's custody. Then transfer that custody to me. Ben wouldn't do that. He did. Do you want to see the papers? If you want to stay out, you better behave yourself. I'd rather be back in there for the rest of my life. Go back with you. You 
you once said you loved me, that you couldn't live without me. What's changed you, Harry? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Just someone I met. You mean someone you picked up? She wasn't a pickup. No. Were you properly introduced? You make everything sound so dirty. Have you slept with her? I've never even kissed her. True love. Are you in love with her? What if I am? Forget it. You're never going to see her again. You can't stop me. I can stop her. She's supposed to be a doctor. I can sue her for seducing my husband. You are a bitch. If I am, you made me one. Can't you see we're no good for each other? You're no bundle of joy. But we did have some good times. If we did, I don't remember them. You want to be with this hustler. Why are you doing this to me? Did it ever occur to you that maybe I had some feelings left? I loved you once. I married you. Does that mean anything to you, Harry? A lot's happened since you left. I'm not the same person I used to be. You look the same to me. She's poisoned your mind against me. I've hardly even discussed you with her. You want to see her again? take a bath. Why don't you shave? Look, you're young, you're healthy, you're a skilled mechanic. Skilled mechanics earn a living. Well, get a new apartment and a new car. Live like real people. If you want to stay at a nut house, you'll work hard and prove to me you're still a solid citizen. Why don't you shave? I don't want to feel your beard in bed. Look, I got this doctor's private phone number. You're going to call her in my presence and tell her to get lost. Tell her if she tries to see you or even call you again. I'll ruin her. Are you listening to me, Harry? Harry, will you undo my strap? Harry?
It's been a terrible day, Daddy. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow? Only rich people have tomorrows. Doesn't anybody care what happens to us? I doubt if anyone knows we're alive. All I know is that we have to stay here. Harry? It's Ben, open up! Who's here? I'm alone. I heard you talking to somebody. Nobody's here. I heard another voice answering you. What's that doing here? It's Teddy. Teddy's been with me a long time, Ben. Don't you remember? You were talking to him, weren't you? Yeah. I suppose he talks back to you. Sometimes. You know teddy bears can't talk. No. So how can you carry on a conversation with him? How long have you been doing this? Since I was a kid. That's why you kept him. Teddy and I have been through a lot, Ben. You know, he's more of a friend to me than you are. That's gratitude. That's the thanks I get for taking care of you. Sorry to be such a bother, Ben. I got bad news, Harry. They sold the hotel. Our wrecking crew is coming to tear it down. You'll have to move. Move? Where am I going to move? I'll have to find another place. Where? I don't know. Harry, you got to shape up. I don't know how much longer I can help you. I'm a mess. I play the market and I guess wrong. I'm broke. The man finds out she's going to throw me out. Sorry for your troubles, Ben. Sometimes I wonder whether it's worth it. You, you struggle and sweat to pile up a few bucks for your old age, you end up busted. Still a hundred years old. No, it's not you. The whole system's falling apart. You know, I keep the books for 50 small corporations. They're all in hot water. Even the banks are in a mess. They audit them right now, most of them at close up. I can go to Canada, Ben. Canada? Takes 10 years for a foreigner to get a work permit in Canada. Well, how about Africa or Australia? You're not right, Harry. You never have been. You can't coach. Look, if you're older, I can get you in a home, but right now you don't qualify. There's got to be some place for me. We should have had this talk years ago. I keep sweeping it under the rug. To wash dishes. They don't need dishwashers anymore. Fast food places use paper plates and throw them away. Well, I could fry hamburgers. They only hire high school kids. I'm not proud, Ben. If I have to, I'll, I'll beg. You need a license to beg. You gotta be a cripple to get a license. Ben, make me a cripple. That's crazy talk. You said I wasn't right. But I didn't mean that way. Elaine, come by. No. I called her. Told her about my predicament. She wants to come back to you. You shouldn't have done that. I had to. Who else you got? Don't go in there! Don't! Elaine wants you back. I guess she found out that life's not so rosy for a divorcee. Look, I know you don't want her back, but she might be good for you right now. Be nice to her and you'll get along. You know, you don't have to love her to be nice to her. Look, I haven't loved my wife for years and I'd be lost without her. You got no choice, Harry. You just hang in there, kid. I'm still your big brother.
Don't forget that, Terry. being torn down. I have to get out tomorrow. Does your brother know? He's the one that told me. He's in big trouble himself. It's good to see you, Doc. Come on, Harry. Sit down. There's a drum beating out there. Sometimes louder, sometimes softer. Always, always beating. Since when have you heard this drum, Harry? I don't remember when it started. Harry. I'll stay at the airport. They won't bother you there for a couple of days. I've been reviewing your tapes. I understand. I want to help you. But you have to show me how. You won't let me inside you. If you could see inside my head. If you sign yourself in the hospital, I can see you every no, day. No, no, they'll never let me out. Where are you going, Harry? I got things to pack up at the at the hotel. I got. Please, stay a while. No, I've overstayed my welcome. Can't play. Never could. Chief of staff. I've just seen Harry Curtis. He needs to be readmitted. I'm afraid that's impossible, Doctor. I tell you, we must act immediately. Why can't you continue treating him as an outpatient? He's at the breaking point. He has no police record of violence. The only thing he was admitted here for is indecent exposure. Surely that's not an indication of violent tendencies. Something must be done now. The Supreme Court of this state has ruled that no one can commit anyone without their consent unless they are apprehended in the commission of a felony. Isn't there some way you can get him to sign himself in? He won't do that. You have no authority to judge anyone, Doctor. This hospital could be sued for false arrest. Then you'll do nothing? My hands are tied.
Western Division, Sergeant Gregory. I need to speak to someone in charge here. Western Division, Sergeant Gregory. I want to report a dangerous man. Who's in charge? I am. Here, fill out this form and make sure you sign the complaint. I don't want to file a complaint. This man needs help. I can't help you, lady, till you fill out this paper. This man is dangerous. I know I'm a doctor. Lady, if he's beating up on you, come down here and file a complaint. No, I can't send anyone. The cars are all out on duty. Oh, lady, we don't look for lost dogs. Try the Humane Society. He has a room... No, I don't have the number. He has a room full of guns. Maybe he's got permits. He's armed and he's walking the streets. He's beating up on you. How could you be talking on the telephone? You have to act now or something terrible is going to happen. I can't process this complaint until you fill out this paper. Western Division, Sergeant Gregory. Who broke your windows? You don't know. Anyone outside? How long? How do I know? The cars are all out on duty.